So we are going to learn about some properties of conjugation in the symmetric group. Let's suppose that we have two elements, sigma and tau, which are permutations in Sn. We want to examine what is tau, sigma, tau inverse. So we conjugate sigma by the element tau. In order to do that, let's look at what this conjugation does to a single input. Suppose that we have sigma of A being equal to B. What is this conjugation going to look like? Well, if we have tau sigma tau inverse, say we apply this conjugation to tau of A. If we do that, tau inverse times tau, those are going to cancel out. And what we're left with is tau of sigma of A. We know that sigma of A is B, so this is going to give us tau of B. In other words, if sigma of A equals B, then that means tau sigma tau inverse of tau A is equal to tau of B. Now, to see exactly what's going on here, let's take a look at the disjoint cycle notation for tau sigma tau inverse. For example, let's suppose that sigma is the cycle that looks like A, B, C for some letters here. What is tau sigma tau inverse going to look like? Well, we know sigma is sending A to B. So sigma of A equals B. We know that that means for the conjugation, tau of A, that's going to be the first element of our cycle, and that's going to go to tau of B. Similarly, we see that sigma of B is equal to C, and therefore this applied to tau of B is going to give us tau of C. And that finishes our cycle because sigma of C equals A, therefore this is going to send tau of C to tau of A. Let's look at a specific example of what's going on here. Say that we have sigma being the 3 cycle 1, 2, 3, and tau being the transposition 2, 5. What is tau sigma tau inverse? In order to get from sigma to the conjugation, all we have to do is take the elements inside of this cycle and replace a with tau of a, b with tau of b, and c with tau of c. So in this case, 1 is going to get sent to tau of 1. Well, tau doesn't permute 1 at all, so we're still going to have 1 as the first element here. If we look at 2, tau of 2 is equal to 5. So instead of going 1, 2, we're going to go 1, 5. And then tau doesn't move 3 at all, so that's going to be our third element still. What happens is we take the cycle from sigma, and all we do is replace every letter in here with tau of that input. People will sometimes refer to this as relabeling the letters. When we conjugate, it keeps the cycle the way it is, but it rearranges the numbers inside of those cycles. So instead of a 2, we might have a 5. But we say that conjugation preserves this cycle type. In this example, if we start with a 3 cycle, then after we conjugate, we're going to get another 3 cycle. If we had instead started with a transposition, after we conjugate, we're also going to end up with a transposition. So that's how conjugation works in the symmetric group. We keep the cycle exactly how it is, and all we do is relabel the letters inside the cycles.